Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop. Today I got a package from Shinran Technologies. They sent me this bike light to review. So I'm about to open it up and check it out. Okay. So honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know a whole lot about this bike light. Uh, I know it's some kind of smart bike light. It will sync with your phone somehow. It will sync with other bike lights that are around it, you know, of the same type. But what I thought was the most interesting about it was that it should turn itself off after you're not using it and turn itself on when you are using it. There's some other interesting features too, but I thought that was especially handy. I could imagine just putting this on my bike and not having to think about it anymore. I'll get more into the details about what makes these lights special later on, but for now let's just go ahead and open it up and check out what they sent me. And here's the lights themselves. So these are the Raz Pro Smart tail lights and brackets. They do Team Sync brake warning, so I'm not really sure what that is. Road bump warning, full color selectable, light sensing, auto wake up. So that's the features. So anyway, let's first take a look at the box and what it shows. So obviously these are the lights. I guess we don't need double. These are the lights. There's some more information on the back of the box here. Uh, I guess 24 hours it says under red light flash mode. So maybe that's, oh no, even further. 46 hours under red light slow flash mode. Wow, that's a long running time. Uh, and waterproof. That sounds pretty good actually. Let's first quickly open up the mount. See what that looks like. And a mount. So the mount doesn't mean much to me now, so I'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and open up the product itself. Let's see what we got. Alright, that's what you have in the package. And, ah, here's the uh, magnetic charging. So I guess these magnets will connect into it, and then these um, pins here will, will actually supply the charge. Oh! And then another bracket. What's the difference between this bracket? Saddle, helmet, bracket, seat post. Ah, cool. So this is a saddle slash helmet bracket, and then this is a seat post bracket. Cool. Nice. All right, let's just open that up real quick, take a look. That's, this is pretty nice. I mean, it comes with uh, quite a different, you know, variety here of rings and whatnot that you'll need, so that's pretty nice. I like that. I'm going to set that aside. And here's finally the light itself. Take a close look at that. The company's name. There's the back. There's the charging piece. Let's see. Yep. That's pretty cool. So you don't really have to plug anything in. It just kind of snaps into place and charges. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, I like that. The way it works is pretty standard. You can press it once to start it up. So, I mean, it's a smart light, but you don't have to use it as a smart light. You can use it, you know, like you would any other light if you prefer. Also, it has a instruction manual. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't really feel like looking through all this right now, but it looks like it's pretty comprehensive. How the different modes work. I'm going to study this later. Educate myself a little bit on actually how this thing works. Cool, so I'm going to go home now and look at the instructions. Probably get the app loaded on my phone. And uh, go ahead and mount this to one of my bikes. Let you know how it works. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so I'm back from a week of testing these, uh, these lights. So first let me tell you a little bit about what I liked, and then I'll tell you a couple things I didn't like so much. Uh, what I liked is just ultimate convenience. I mean, basically, the nice thing about these is they do auto on, auto off. So you just have to put your helmet on, and they'll come on. When you're done with it, you set it down, and it turns itself off. I will say, though, that the auto on is a bit sensitive. So I came up with a situation where I put this on my desk at work, 
and every time I moved my desk a little bit, it came back on. So maybe the sensitivity could be a little bit uh, lowered. But anyway, what I did is I just set it down on another table, which doesn't get touched, and that's actually working just fine. So, uh, extremely convenient. Also, just being on my helmet, I'm finding to be super nice, because now I can go from bike to bike, and I still have my light on me. Uh, also, the battery life has been pretty good. I've only charged these one time when I first got them, and I've been using them for about a week every day to working back with this one, running some errands, doing some rides. This one, uh, my wife has been riding maybe in the evening a few times a week, and uh, the batteries are still holding up, still working perfect. I did go into the app, and it showed me that the battery on this one is 28% now. So for me, maybe I will uh, charge it once a week or something like that. Uh, another positive is the weight and the size. The unit itself, I never got a chance to weigh the mount, but the unit itself I think was only 18 grams. So I'm guessing less than 25 grams for, for everything together. So pretty darn light. I can't feel it on my head. I asked my wife the same thing. She can't feel it either. So uh, pretty light. That's another positive. Another thing I really like are the different colors. You can see we're in uh, green in red mode here. It's really cool just to be able to, to switch whatever color you like. My wife likes the teal color because it kind of matches her bike. So that's cool. Another cool thing is this uh, synchronization feature. It works pretty good. Uh, whenever the lights are in the same mode, they will synchronize and blink together. I don't really know if it matters that much, but it's kind of cool. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but usually it does. I've had a couple occasions where they're off sync and I think they're in the same blinking mode. Maybe they're on a different blinking mode and if that's the case that would explain why. But now you can see they're not quite exactly synchronized. I don't know what's up with that. That's not critical to me. In fact, I, it's just kind of a fun thing. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, and that's automatic. You don't have to do anything. You don't start them up at the same time. They somehow actually communicate with each other. One thing that I didn't get to test out that much was the auto off uh, when it's bright out feature, which might help the battery life. What I found when I connected to the light with my phone app, and there is a phone app for uh, Android and, and also your Apple devices, um, you, I actually found that the, the feature was turned off to turn itself off when it's bright. So uh, I, I didn't turn it on, although I want to experiment with that a little bit more. That could actually save the battery life, so if in the morning it's bright already or something, and then you don't really need it. So also the different blinking modes can affect how long the battery life is. But so the app itself, um, I don't know if this is good or bad. Most lights don't even have an app. So I guess anything you have is better than most lights. But the app itself, first of all, it's an app for all of their products apparently, not just the light. And it does ask you to like use your camera, I think, or, or at least access your photos. And I don't know why you need to access your photos for a bike light, that seems overkill. And then you actually do have to log on in order to uh, even get into the app and make it usable. So to me, we're living in a crazy world when you have to use a phone and log into uh, uh, an account to work with your lights. Okay, but let me correct myself. You don't have to. You don't have to have an app at all. Nothing at all. I use these for most of the week without even touching the app, without even installing the app. So you don't need the app. Just as a review, I wanted to go ahead and install it and you know test it out just to kind of see what it does. To be honest, I'll probably be deleting the app because I just don't need an app for my for my light. Sorry. Uh, the brightness probably isn't the brightest in the world. They're bright enough, but I suppose it's a balance between battery life and brightness and, and weight. And uh, they're not the brightest in the world. When you compare them to my Nog Blinker, uh, they're not as bright. But on the flip side, the battery life is much better on these than my blinder, so it's your choice. Uh, probably my biggest kind of complaint, and I would barely call it a complaint, it's it's totally fine, it's working, but it's that charging cable. Hang on. Yeah, okay, now don't get me wrong, it works, no problem, it works. But, a few things. You do have to uh, take it off of the mount before you can charge it. Even though this magnet is kind of cool, it's kind of cool that you can just kind of, it kind of clicks into place, uh, it's not that strong. So, ooh, it doesn't take much to uh, take it off. And then finally, probably my biggest thing that I would kind of prefer to be different, and I hate to say it because I'm sure people, you know, <laughs> they thought like this is a better solution than standard, like this is what people will want. But I would actually probably rather a standard mini or micro or whatever standard USB interface because 
if I lose this permanently or if I just don't have it on me, I won't be able to charge it anymore. So, you know, like, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to find a new one somewhere or contact the company to get a new one of these. Whereas if it's just a standard micro USB, I have hundreds of those. Okay, I don't have hundreds, but you know what I mean. I have a lot of those, and I can even ask my friend at work or, or even in the office. I'm sure we have some. So I would prefer probably a standard charging interface. So that's it. So probably the charging is kind of my biggest complaint, but it totally works, totally works. Don't get me wrong, it works. All right, so, okay, so that's about it. So I told you a bit about what I liked, a bit about what I didn't like. Let me explain what I think overall about this, uh, this setup. Overall, I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I'm probably just going to keep these on these helmets and just use these as my daily lights from now on. They're that good. Um, there's, there's just a convenience, just the fact that you can uh, leave them on all the time. You don't have to turn them on or off. You, I just take my helmet off, I set it on my bike, and I walk away. And to me, convenience is really nice to have, so I, I like them. I like them a lot. There's a couple little nuisances, like maybe the sensitivity, like I mentioned before, but not a big deal. I'm probably not going to use my other lights uh, anymore. I'm probably going to use these through the winter. Oh, by the way, if you do want these lights, they're not available quite yet, as I've been told, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can find out um, when they're available, if they are currently available when you're watching this. Okay, that's about it. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please do put them below. And uh, if you like this type of video, please do subscribe. All right, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Ciao.